Jacques for another Ab Nation Live Tonight Show with hockey coach Joe Coach Francis directly for the beautiful country of Tehran or maybe from the jail, but that's another story for another time. And we are great Wednesday night, March 29, 2023. Three game in action tonight in NHL, but uh, Toronto Maple Leaf 1 1 versus the Flair Panthers, about a little bit over five minutes to go remaining of the first period, second period. And then the same score 1 1 between the Islanders and Capitals, Washington, with at the end of the second period. This is a two team, at least the Flair Panthers and the Islanders, try to capitalize on those opportunities to win tonight. to secure a little bit more their position for the wild card and the flip side the capitals try to survive they are right now on the most survived the most important game at 10 o'clock tonight is some time the minnesota and the canada Avalanche guys are going to battle for the spot number one and the standing and the metropolitan division and that's what we got in nhl but the most important thing is tonight it's what it's, of course, let's talk the Montreal Canadian, your Blue Blanc Rouge. That's what is the subject tonight. We talk about Martin Saint Louis, of course. But uh, let's talk about the Montreal Canadian tonight. We have a couple of subjects. We're going to talk about RHP Gallagher, the Montreal Canadian. Is it the end of Kurianov? And then we have other subjects. We're going to talk about for sure. We're going to cover the NHL contents. You can ask any question. Put the letter Q in front of your question. I'm here until the last question of the night. This is happening. We are at the end of the March. Hopefully, you're ready to rock and roll the month of April. And this is the, going to be the end of the season 2022 2023. Can we play too many games in NHL? Do you should play only 72 games? I think possible. I don't know. Maybe we can talk about this. Uh, whatever you have a subject tonight, I'm open up to you. I'm here for at least uh, 90 minutes. If it's possible, we can have those kind of conversations all together. But the most important thing, guys, uh, is uh, welcome you back. Uh, so let's further ado to welcome each one of you. That would be great to having you. And don't forget one more thing, guys. Uh, we don't ask money. We we'll only ask a likes. Uh, click on the like. That would be great. That would be uh, amazing if you can do that. So first of all... Uh, he was the first one, Mr. André Robert Drouin, back in the house. Hopefully doing well. Um, I'm having his pancake uh, with marble syrup. Wow. Marble syrup. Long time, guys. Uh, I cannot remember. Last time I took uh, some marble, marble syrup. Uh, La cabane à sucre. In French, la cabane à sucre. <laughs> <laughs> My God, never been there for a long time. What about the Roadrunner, ladies and gentlemen? The Roadrunner is back in the house. He's excited to be with us tonight. <laughs> Gary Cornoyer. Martin is taking with closure for advice. Uh, yes, he was. Uh, I'm a little bit late, guys. I'll be honest with you. I have two reasons. One is because I was watching Toronto Maple, the Toronto Philadelphia on Thursday. Oh, I have to have a show at 9 o'clock. Uh, and then the confusing time. I'm still working on my time. I don't like that time, guys. 8 o'clock for me. You guys, is 9 o'clock. It's confusing. I, I'm really disciplined in my life. And I want to be sure it's exactly like way. But I apologize. No excuse, coach. Don't give me an excuse. Oh, no. As I'm, I'm at the jail with Luciano. It's Luciano who make me late. That's why he was talking about something, and then I was late. But we have notre ami Yann Giannet, directement de la belle province de Nouveau-Brunswick. Il est de retour avec nous ce soir. Back up Luciano Graziano. Back in the house, Luciano Graziano. Welcome back. Uh, we have LH, uh, Mr. LH, back in the house tonight. Uh, welcome back, Mr. LH. Always a pleasure to have you guys returning with me and talking about hockey. I love that. I love the regular people that come to support the channel and they pop up when I pop up, the, whatever the time. I really like it. I really thanks uh, each one of you to do that. Uh, talking about someone pop up all the time. It's directly from Ottawa, number of friends, Ottawa Senator. I'm talking, of course, uh, Mr. Vinny James007. And we have our, the real time. I said, go, leave, go. Here we go. Notre ami de Ottawa. Deuxième Ottawa dans la maison. The Hockey Nation Show. I'm talking, of course, notre ami directement live de, de la capitale du Canada. Mr. Claude Richard. Welcome back. Not from Canada, but from USA at the borders between Vermont and Massachusetts. 
He is back with us. Uh, we are lucky. I like to have him one. He's with us tonight. Talk about our day. Talk about the butch. The butch Bouchard is in the house. Here we go. He's back. I'm talking about the white Nissan. Maybe you have to go some kind of errands. Maybe his wife needs some kind of milk. I don't know. For, for the kids, for the more money, for the sandwich, for the school. I don't know. But he's back on the road for some reason. I'm talking about Dixon Automotive Group. He's in the house with the white Nissan. Welcome back. Glad to see you aboard. Always a pleasure uh, to have you aboard. Gallagher is fighting for his hockey live. Uh, do you count him out? Uh, do not count him out. Uh, he's on the moat right there. Uh, we're going to talk about Gallagher in the next couple of minutes for that. Uh, what about the garage? I'm talking not the garage. I'm talking about uh, our friend John Garage. Back in the house tonight. The number one fans of the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, I'm talking about not the deal, not talking about the new deal. I'm talking about the real deal. He's back with us tonight, uh, talking about Don Levan. Levi, back in the house, real. Sawadi Crab, Mr. John Garage, Sawadi Crab, Kakon. William McClary knocked the door. William McClary, another great uh, supporter of the Hockey Nation Show. And our friend Kevin TB consists to support his. Uh, Blue team, the Maple Leaf, uh, on Paul Play right now for the last uh, two minutes of this first period, second period. 26 shots for Toronto, 16 for the Flair Panthers. Uh, the Rocket, uh, bonsoir tout le monde. The Rocket, uh, bonsoir tout le monde. Uh, Rocket, uh, different, I think, is the first time. Uh, maybe you changed the name. If not, uh, welcome for the first time. Merci d'être avec nous ce soir. The Rocket, I love it. Uh, that's the jersey behind me. You can see the Rocket over my head right there. That's my dad gave it to me a long time ago. And uh, my dad always loved the rocket. Uh, thank thanks to have you. Our uh, friend Frederick, uh, Panthers uh, need to lose 1 1 versus the Toronto Maple Leaf. You're absolutely right about this. Frederick, welcome back in the house. Uh, Nat Lafon, knock the door. Welcome, everybody. Nat, directly to Montreal. I did not know the subject. Uh, Nat, I, you know, sometimes I'm busy and everything like that. D did you say yesterday you tried to move somewhere in the north? Uh, but I could be wrong here in that, uh, about that. Uh, but uh, welcome back anyway. Uh, then we have uh, everything, Dixon, everything. So look like everybody is set up now. Don't forget guys, to click on the like. If you don't mind, that'd be awesome. Uh, there we go. That's what we got here at the sh at the sh on the show tonight. Uh, so coach, what you want to talk about? Uh, but we know the last couple uh, from yesterday, guys. I tried to see the video. If I have the the... Um, let me check this guy. Here we go. So, Martin St. Louis is angry to can use. Or you can sit this way over there. You can say, uh, use upset Martin St. Louis. It all depends how you see the, pic the big picture between all, both of them. But that's the session with the Montreal Canadiens sent yesterday at 5 o'clock yesterday before the game between the Montreal and the Flyers. A uh, reporter asked about Sean Farrell. And Martin St. Louis responded. Uh, to him, said, uh, uh, ask the question to Ken Youth. 30 second letter, another reporter asked the same question, why we need to ask Ken Youth or something like that. And then Martin Sidoui, with big eyes, uh, targeting the guy for the reporter and said, look, ask Ken Youth. And that was the, this is one of the subjects we want to share with you about that. Uh, I don't know what is all you feeling about this. I make a short video about um, that session this morning at 11 o'clock. You can follow my video at the news every day, usually at 11 o'clock Eastern time. I'm talking about one subject. Uh, and today I'm talking, uh, uh, yesterday we talk. Uh, this morning I talked about the, that situation. But I would like to hear from you guys. With any question you want to feel, I'm going to give you my, my two cents about that situation on both sides and how you feel. And how maybe uh, as a fan you never heard some kind of the response, or maybe you feel like uh, is it Martin Saint we fault? Is it Ken Hughes fault? Is it something like uh, it's normal and um, it's just like we get we can move on and that's it. So I would like to hear from you guys. Let us know what you think and um, 
Then I will share it with you. I will answer to you. If you have any questions, by the way, just put the letter Q. That'd be great. Uh, if you don't mind, that'd be awesome. Uh, oh, not uh, our friend Marco Larabi knocked the door directly from another one from Ottawa. Well, we have the, the, the hat trick tonight uh, because Marco is from uh, Ottawa with Vinny and, uh, of course, Claude Richard. So Nat is on the move uh, right now. So the question tonight was, honestly, it was uh, Martin Senoui upset by Ken Hughes. So I'll just give you a little bit, the, briefly, the story between happening with Martin Senoui before the, the game yesterday at the press conference. Uh, Martin Senoui tired. Uh, Martin Senoui did not understand the move from uh, uh, Ken Hughes. Uh, tell him they have to use uh, Caden Primo and Sean Farrell, both of them. And then... Uh, Uh, the answer of Martin Saint Louis, uh, you have to, you need to ask uh, this question to Ken Hughes. Create some kind of drama or some kind of big story around the Montreal Canadian. Um, I was just curious about what you think about this. I would like to hear from you. Who is the GM Hughes or Martin Saint Louis? Uh, the boss, uh, Roger um, Bush, is uh, general manager Ken Hughes. You're absolute about this. Uh, this is Ken Hughes. Uh, And we're going to wait for your response on the KH and Martin Saint Louis. Martin Saint Louis can use, will kiss and make up there. No, our big boys and not big deal. I forgot about the already. Let's move on. Uh, Gary Connery said that. Uh, if you cannot trust the coach, uh, do the right things, uh, then maybe you should not be there. All right, All right Marco, question and uh, run again. If Saint Louis are uh, upset with user uh, who does, he just hate the reporter who asked the question, saying that reporter, I know, is a safe sub or with, with Saint Louis. Uh, honestly, Um, uh, Ron, that's a great question, by the way, because you, from the outside, like you or many other you have in the chat, maybe you don't know the relationship. Uh, they become really friendly, Martin Saint Louis, with the reporter. Uh, since the beginning of his first day with the Montreal Canadiens, he's going to be a little bit more disconnect at some point with them. But at the end of the day, he have a really good relationship. Um, Martin Saint Louis learn at the end of the day uh, to be in front of the camera and, and under the mic. I always said, always said me under the mic or to be in front of the mic, honestly. Uh, yeah, I've always been a great relationship. The, the guy asking this usually is a, is a good, uh, they have a good back and forth. But this way, I don't feel that way or with anybody else. But I think for me, uh, it's not about the reporter. I think Martin St. Louis, he was disappointed. Uh, Martin St. Louis believe on different ways and to be push or force to let play players like he maybe does not believe they should be ready right there uh, i think for him for him he was a bit upset about that so i think that's the only way i can best answer to run but like i think they make uh, the right decision martin Jean could have uh and all this better for uh, martin for him the reporter I have to ask a question is his job you have so right On the flip side, I will give you an, a story, guys. Uh, um, Sometimes a reporter face with a coach every single day. They're not coming friend, but they have kind of relationship, and they they, they don't want to, you know, to put the coach uh, 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 out of the bus, or you know, they don't want to hurt the coach. They don't want to be the right thing. But sometimes the reporter guys, they have a boss too. And their boss tell to the reporter, hey, you need to ask that question to the coach. So the guy is right there. I have no choice, right? And um, that's what happening um, run for the reporter. So I just want to give you another idea about that. Uh, I think that's the right way to do that. But uh, they have a job to do for sure. Uh, and Artap knocked the door. Welcome back, Mr. Artap. Uh, Luciano, I wonder if Farrell got hurt. How um, would people feel that about what they should to play him? Um, I don't see that. Like, the player maybe heard that, but I don't feel like uh, Sean Farrell said about this or the decision. Um, he's already uh, talking with Adam Nicola. He's talking with Burroughs, talking with Litowski, talking with Martin St. Louis. And I'm sure this is already, um, I don't see an impact for Sean Farrell. Uh, let's you know, but it's great to think about there. Steven is in the house. Welcome back, Steven. Thanks to be with the Hockey Nation show tonight. Uh, if the gym don't get along with the coach, it's time to get a new coach or friendship. Uh, it's not because he's get along. It, it's not like, guys, it, it's just like he's upset. 
they don't say they 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 want to fire him. They just upset, and it's a, a it's a learning curve for both ways. I think, and that's what I believe. Uh, it's a it's a situation right now. Everybody need to learn something there. But I said we need to learn where the management control 30 to 40 percent of all the decision inside the Montreal Canadiens. And Martin said we need to understand um, he has to respond or answer the question properly, better, and to not uh, turn on the, the, the put more fire already. I think that would be the best way I can describe for Martin St. Louis. So Martin St. Louis is at the learning curve. And every time you move the, the next level, the next level, the management is over the coach all the time. You, you're listening, coaches all the time talking. Um, Terrien, Bergeron, um, I can go with many coach. Uh, you know, it, they are in control about 70% of the team usually. The 30% is coming for the management. And sometimes if for expose the player for the trade, sometimes it's an agreement between the agent, the player, and the Montreal, and the team. I will give you an example. That enough. But that enough, at some point, we heard he wanted to request trade. If we turn on that, it was questionable. He got L2 scratch. And then after that, whoop, he go inside. He never been that way after that. So you have all the management happening. This And Martin St. Louis, that's what you need to learn. And again, it's not again Martin St. Louis. But I think you have a kind of you are eliminate or you're going to be eliminate you have nine game eight game to go guys think about this build right now martin saint louis right just think about martin saint louis he tried to build a culture he got a big w again the buffalo sabers he put kovacevic on the shootout he put pesada on the shootout Pesada score. Pesada made the Tiger William. The bench all all stand up, all fire up. The coaching hug each other. High five everybody. The players coming to the locker room, smiling, a great time. Now you go all together. You take the plane. Now you eat together. You go back at the hotel. You come back from the hotel for the game. And then at 5 o'clock, you announce it. But Kenny cannot play because Sean Farrell is in the lineup. And then Jake Allen, you're going to be sitting in the stand because we have to use Kenan Primo. That's what Martin St. Louis, he did not like it. Martin St. Louis believe you have a one way to prepare the player to come inside. Sean Farrell did not have no relationship, no practice with the Montreal Canadian, no concept about how this works. And at some point at the beginning of the day, it was split on the four line. Uh, with Belzil and Pesada. Tierney was out. Then at 5 o'clock 30, they changed because Kobe Duck was announced he's going to be out of the lineup. Bring back Tierney. Put Farrell for a second line with Kurianov and Drouin. No chemistry there. And that's all together. That put Martin St. Louis on the bad mood. That's just okay. On the flip side, can you have to do a job? Right around every time like that. What happened last year? Is Jordan Harris did the same thing like Sean Farrell, signed his entry level contract, but it took him 11 days, a three game, and four practices for the Montreal Canadiens before he go and play in NHL. Sean Farrell, he flew from Advert to Philadelphia, stay at the hotel, wait for the thing come back, and that's it. Two different ways, and that's what Martin we did about that. He coached last night, and for him, he tried to get some little small goal, a small victory until the end of the season to keep motivate that team, to let the, move, the team go move forward. He told that, I'm sure the next tomorrow, maybe next day, you're going to see Martin St. Louis, this is behind us, we have to go forward. I'm sure he'd already talked with Ken Hughes, and they both of them uh, talk about that situation, everything learned, and they go from there. If you want to build and to be a, a, a united team, Right? Like a couple, a husband and a wife together. But you have to communicate and you have to talk to each other and to have some kind of agreement. So, look, I make a mistake. I apologize. I need to get better. And for another side, you said, look, I understand your point of view. I need to get better too. And this is the situation right there. Everybody have a boss. And the boss usually controls the situation. The boss will tell the employee, you have to do that. But Martin said, we need to understand too on the flip side. Another conversation that's how we're going to pick it up everything here. 
Uh, about that, uh, Vinny, uh, bonsoir, Yann. Et go, Nicholas, uh, friendly. I can see both sides, but Martin Sinoui or any coach would like to be told that you do their job. Look like effort. It can actually make a play, but upset in the end, worst case scenario. Yeah, great point about that, Nicholas. I think so, too. Uh, I, I feel that way. William McClary, coach Jim, a coach uh, often have a healthy friction. The coach usually try to attain the degree of autonomy from the GM. Coach represent player, GM report management. Uh, great point to see that. Now, remember, guys, the only one talk to the GM, the only one talk to the 20 players or the 23 players you have is the coach. The coach fill the locker room. The coach build the culture. The coach understand each one of them. Every one of them. And he knows he try, they are all in. They buy in. But a situation like that, I don't say they destroy the culture. I don't say they destroy the locker room. But that's not the way it is supposed to be until the end of the year. And I think it will bring Farrell slowly part of the team and carry on him that way, that way, I think it will feel a bit more better. Again, everything will be fine. But Martin said we need to understand the management control decision. And maybe the management maybe have to control it. Maybe need to understand a bit more Martin said what you want to bring on the table. But I can understand. Uh, sound like a sound strategy by you, but should uh, should share this result with Martin St. Louis. Great point, John. Again, we just assume, right? We don't know the conversation they have before uh, from Buffalo. Uh, Primo was announced after the game Monday night, and that's happening there. Roberto always asks questions to players uh, who uh, hate them, and players will still answer, but it's going to become to uh, have a friendly answer towards them. Yeah, you're absolutely about that, uh, Ron. Um, I think you can see that way. Uh, I do not see it as a big deal. The primo mode do not understand for one game. Uh, LH, uh, I do not see it uh, as a big deal. Uh, the primo mode, I do not uh, understand for one game. Uh, this one it blew my mind um, about Caden Primo. That's fun ways people say they want to show his evaluation. There's some people just see uh, what it look like. You want maybe show them for the flowers. There are many things around that decision for the Montreal Canadian. And I don't know, uh, honestly, uh, the reason behind that. But for me, I have a very difficult time. Again, we have Montembo. We have Jake Allen carry on the team for 34 games. And they did very well. And now you try to bring Primo uh, for the... Now, if Primo was there for the rest of the season with a Montreal Canadian, I can understand that. I explain this to Jake Allen, and it'll be fine. But to move him for one game, returning him to Laval, and then maybe never come back because Montreal have only one call up players now? I don't know. I don't know. Difficult to understand that move, uh, Saint Louis merit all the uh, fame he done a uh, plus. I uh, want Saint Louis uh, as my coach anytime. But Eric, great point of view about that. Uh, Dan Asham is in the house. That would just say Nicholas. Uh, in that chair, I did not get your uh, email tonight. I see if you can report it. That would be great. Uh, Jan Gionnet, welcome back. And uh, Chicago, knock the door. Welcome. The sad thing is get this issue is overshadow uh, Farrell uh, first uh, game. Some of the start to make Farrell sound like a diva. Question is why he insists to play his first game and for the family. Um, uh, here's the point, Marco, about that. I don't know the conversation between both of them. But I would be surprised. Sean Farewell asked uh, Jack uh, Hughes to play in Philadelphia the first night. The fans, the family was there because he knew he was going to play in Philadelphia since Sunday afternoon. I don't know if Martin Sully knew that already there. But 
I think maybe Martin, uh, can you said to Sean Farrell, yeah, I'm going to dress you uh, Tuesday night, so invite your family, everything like that. Again, I don't know that conversation, but it's not a prototype who is Sean Farrell for what I know from him. Um, and I don't see a, a family do that one there. So I can understand Marco this way, but I, for my opinion, as a fans, I don't see that like Sean Farrell that way at all. And uh, it's not for me. I I don't think that way. Please comment in the top on what Martin said. We said, uh, "Al Al bro, welcome aboard. Uh, thanks so much to be a part of that." My thinking: if you could ask a Farrell if he want to play right away. Um, the kid we said yes, right? Any player want to compete, want to play. Uh, I think for me, it's uh, maybe an agreement between the family of Midwin can use offer this, uh, and then can use cannot back off behind that possible. Uh, William uh, KLS, uh, William Willander signed a ELC is uh, uh, bound for Grand Rapids, or he can make the big club. Uh, no KLS, I think William Willander is going to be more a uh, Grand Rapids, in my opinion, as a solid defenseman. Uh, but he did not play, he did not develop very well this year. Not saying he's a bad player. William Willander guy is a solid good defenseman. But I was expect more from him. He was relayed from the first pairing defenseman to second pairing. Uh, Adam Angstrom dropped him Montreal last season, past him last year, uh, this season. But you get something very solid. I think he could become a solid, first of all, a third pairing in NHL. He could become a, a second pairing if everything turns around. But you get a really good defenseman, uh, William. And I think he did his contract a couple of days ago. A couple of uh, last week, I believe. Uh, and then Keith, here we go. I can't wait there. Gonna talk to the reporter after the game last night. He said he played farewell last night because he had his family and family at the game. For what she said. Um <laughs> um, this is the new wall. Tatarilla Satar Michel Terrier don't care. Family, no family. If you coach the team because of the family, but we are right now, it's a not it's not a good sign. I, I know it's disappointed, but this is going to be really a big problem if they do that for the family only. And 19 other players in the room. And we have to spoil the rookies coming from NCA. Because the family, the dad, the mom, the grandmother, the dog, the cat, the fish are in the in the in the in the stand. I don't get it. Uh, I can uh, first of all, and then thanks for sharing with that. But if Gordon talked that way, the reporter after the first game last night, he said he played farewell last night because he had his family and the family at the game. So if the family are not in Montreal tomorrow night. We don't play Farrell. Uh, for me, as I, I know I'm an old school coach, right? Um, I don't care. Me, I, <laughs> me, I, I, I like I won championship. Uh, two players never played one shift. I don't care. It's all about winning. It's all about winning. Martin said we coach for winning. That's the DNA they have. They all don't don't tanking. He wants to win every single game, every period, every shift. That's who they are. And you have a kind of insults from the management that so we have to let him play because his family is there. That's my, that pissed off Martin Saint Louis, and I can understand that if there is the case. I love that Martin can burn a hole through someone's soul with one look at body is intensely love it. Uh, yeah, you can see that answer from Martin. Uh, he was look like the Maurice Rocket Richard Marco about that one over there. Marty is not the boss and Paul as that. Uh, you're absolutely right, Ellen. You're absolutely right. He's not the boss. But if you want to build a, a, a culture 
and you said to the players, oh, by the way, if your family is in the stand next week, but we're going to let play Chris Whiteman because his son is going to see his dad play for the first time. That, for me, is not a good answer for the management. Now, completely agree, the boss run the show. But, but if my boss is not a good boss, but don't expect the Montreal Canadiens to be a great team when the boss does not tell the really the right things to tell to do. If you want to be the culture, but we need to please the family of the first player play on the NCA, this is a red flag for me. Because next week, what do we be? We need to please the, the, the wife of someone else? Not right. It's not right. You have to deserve that. You need to be in the lineup. When is the right time? Not because the grandma, grandmother is, a, is in the stand tonight. It's not a, a, a league. It's a professional league. It's a major league where you, you do winning every single game you try to win. For me, it's like, if this is the case, guys, I'm really disappointed of Jeff Gordon and Ken Hughes. This is what they run the team that way to please the family. Wow. Um, shocking. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked right now. I, I, I agree with Eden. He's the boss. <laughs> but my boss is maybe not great, but he's a boss. Wow, that's shocking me. This is I was not coming this from tonight. Uh, he played because of his family. And I said, we know very little of what could have been named for the Ontario situation. We are speaking quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that in our tap. But the reaction of Martin St. Louis, the body language of Martin St. Louis, guys, show a lot of things there. Not very happy. So he's not happy because something happening uh, in our tap. Now, what happening, what he said, uh, the reason, everything like that, I don't know. But I can tell you that it's not like uh, easy uh, to deal about that. Uh, Pierre Martin, now welcome back in the house. There yeah, should have limits, uh, Mr. Yannette. Uh, Frederick, uh, don't know, rock uh, at tournament, please. And then, uh, good for him that he negotiated that on his deal. Some reporter was making him sound uh, like a diva. Uh, and again, if you make a deal and he ask uh, the Montreal Canadian, can you let me play? Because my friend will be there in Philadelphia. Difficult to accept that. Uh, Frederick said, let's see next season. Uh, to say one is upset does not mean they are bad, mad, or angry. It's a proper disagreement. Yeah, great point, Pierre Martin, about that, uh, for sure. Uh, this just sounds like a Marty would like to be more involved and this decision like it is more and is a thing of that. Uh, Ron, you may be right, but I would say to you, for me, as an ex-coach and the coach, what Martin looked like, I don't say I look like Martin Saint Louis. Don't say that. Don't say I never say that. I'm far away. I've never been there anyway. But when my point here, guys, is I know what Martin Saint Louis is thinking. He wants to protect the culture. And when I saw the culture guy, he wants to protect the player he works every single day. That's what he tried to do. Is to protect the players, his locker room. This is his house. This is his family. This is where the people hang all together. Rare, and maybe maybe one or two times he, he talk against someone else. What happened against Jonathan the one last week? Otherwise, he protect his player all the time. All the time. And I can feel it. And I'm sure if Ken you said to the family he's going to play, Martin said we deal every day with the players. We're going to do this, 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 this. Now he have to change one thing because Ken you go over him. And now in front of the locker room, in front of his player, where they trust him, they believe on him, and he show up everything because he care, he love, he, he help them. Now he said, oh, guys, I'm sorry, but we have to let play Sean Farrell tonight. That's why it's not resonate well for Martin St. Louis. For what he bring every single day with trust, honesty for each one of them. Because everyone out in the bus, everybody all in, everybody buy in, Everybody follow Martin St. Louis. 
He likes not only talk to talk, but walk to walk. So when he said this to the players, and then something changed, that's pissed him off. That's why he was not happy last night. Because he had to do something where he does not want to, he was not agree, and he had to do it because he had no choice, because Ellen, everybody think, knows, not think, but knows, they are the boss. That's what's happening, in my opinion. Whatever well, Martin said, user should have communicated uh, earlier and anticipate what a reporter could have asked or what party line code they want to send out. Um, uh, you know, it's not like the warehouse, right? At the warehouse uh, in USA, the, you, all the questions are briefly uh, before the ask a question. But uh, I don't think so. It is what they end up that. I think Martin said, we, it's just a learning curve. You need to answer better. And he will learn those kind of answer. And that's the reason we talked tonight, because he created that kind of situation. And um, I'm sure it would be better. He cannot put can use on this answer, right? Uh, he cannot said, I think Martin St. Louis, his biggest, and, and his, his biggest mistake is that ask this to can use. With time, you know, if you look about Guy Boucher or other coach in NHL been there, they learn to answer properly to different questions and not to create those kind of drama with that situation. So for me, it's just a learning process for uh, Martin St. Louis uh, and I'll tap about that. Uh, starting to make sense. So Diana, we go. Ken is the boss, uh, Danny. Uh, we learned today that the reason he did not do optional skate in the morning because Martin Louis asked him to not do one hand to meet with the veteran and learn and a team system video. Uh, we learned today the reason he did not do optional skate in the morning because Martin said we asked him to not do. But the reason they have no uh, optional morning, uh, Marco, is because they're traveling from Buffalo to Philadelphia and they pop up at 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, so you don't want to have the players on the ice uh, uh, at that time now. You know, it's some travel skate for one thing. Super chat. Uh, yeah. We have a super chat, Mr. Roger Delaney! Did it again. Super chop, 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 chop. Roger Delaney did it again. Uh, welcome back, Roger. Thanks so much for your super chat tonight at the Hockey Nation Show. Uh, so, Marco, I think I answered that one over there. I like uh, those kind of conversations. So. Uh, still on the learning curve, uh, Claude Richard was said, uh, real deal, Sen uh, Senwe has a lot to pride, that's great, but you need to know his role to uh, play for Bedard. Kids are coming up to play, this is uh, nothing new. Um, he, he need to know his role to uh, play for Bedard. I don't agree with that, real. No one play for Bedard, in my opinion. Um, they are pride players, guys. Nobody try to play for Bedar. Don't exist. Don't exist. Yeah, decision can make to let the play lower level. But don't tell to Brennan get a girl last night. You cannot play hard. Because we thank for Bedar. You cannot say to Nick Ski on the shootout. Don't score. We need to we lose this game. That's not that way, guys, in the locker room. They are pride players. They want to perform every time they are on their eyes. They want to win every game. Every game. That's who they are. I understand the management, maybe, but not the coach and not the players. In my opinion. Alan Barnes is in the house. Welcome back, Alan. Uh, for Martin and we uh, then turned the table on the use was not the right approach. Use is your boss, and uh, you don't uh, talk otherwise is an answer boss nation. Um, this is right, all right? But Martin and we is honest. And that's what we're going to learn. You need to be dishonest. That's what the learning curve about that. You cannot always tell the truth. But this is what he cannot say that we, we don't want to say that, uh, it's not me, it's can use. 
I don't know where Farrell is in my lineup tonight. Ask that question for Ken Hughes. Why is in the lineup tonight? Now we know he's in the lineup because the family and the agreement between Ken Hughes and the Farrell family. That's Martin Senu is. Right? So he can say, oh, he's in the lineup because uh, we have an injury. No, he, he just tell the truth. No, I don't think so. He should say, ask a Ken Hughes. Uh, but I don't know what's the best answer for that one over there. Uh, why is Sean Farrell play tonight? Um, I think we want to see him. I think we want to evaluate him. I think it's an opportunity right now for the next seven, eight games until the remaining of the season to see what he looks like and to, after that to feel, to feel a little bit more what the NHL is, is all about and to maybe for him to help him to adapt at the space of the game where it's faster, stronger, physical, and that he can go that path. I agree with you enough that, but it didn't happen that way. Uh, give us two years and we will do it uh, one uh, 32 days. Uh, Frederic, Melissa Zabrin is in the house. Captain Kirk is in the house. Welcome, both of you. Thanks to be with our condition. I show very kind of you to support. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like. That'd be great if you don't mind. I'll try winning at the end of the season like Dale, me, he uh, is a guy, but that's not a uh, sadder view and opinion. I think Ken uh, put a uh, Premier and then net uh, last night uh, to showcase uh, him possible trait maybe. Um, this is it, it, like I said at the beginning. You absolutely Ellen possible. That's the reason. But I will tell you one thing, guys. Now, when you see, you want to show him. Uh, I think for me, not show him, but if he can feel the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs score, guys, two to one. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh ho ho! Austin Matthews. Give the lead to one. This is very important for Montreal, for the Panthers. Sorry about that, guys. But you have to write, Ellen. Now, I said, I, I don't like, not you, Ellen, but I don't, I don't feel anymore they have to show the players. The video are everywhere, guys. I want to learn about Kaden Primo. I will watch all the games of Laval Rocket in every shift, every shot, everything like that. Now, to feel him, to see in the NHL, you absolutely tell him uh, about that. And this, I don't know. Kaden Primo, why was there? I did not have a good answer. Maybe Marco in our top, you, anybody else know the reason it was there. But I just feel like for one game, not change anything exactly. Coach Marty is not the boss. Uh, uh, did Farrell really want to play? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know, Paul, about that, um, honestly. Um, for sure, um, it's a prom soon open days, of course. Sir. Uh, we have a couple of people, not impossible, and then likely that they just want to see him at the level since he has a one year contract. Uh, uh he has a one year contract next year, yep, so right, and you're going to become now on the waiver. And secondly, guys, if you talk about family, what well, it was born, Kaden Primo in Philadelphia, his dad. Kid Primo, yep. So maybe it was another story about family. Who knows? <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, now, question one: Is this use first GM job? So both use is in a way our learning curve to learn together, nail it, uh, guide it, run. You absolutely about this. This is first uh, job. Panthers are attacking now. Two versus one, and miss the net. Uh, you absolutely. Uh, we all knew twenty-four hours before the game. Farrell was playing. Uh, so it's some closet. There was a decision made. Ask a use can only met Martin. Did not get proper answer. Why play for well? Great point, Pierre Martin. I like that comments. Uh, you know we are here to assume, but uh, you have sorry. I love it, uh, guys. Use is a cancer in the locker room, <laughs> Nicholas. No, not there. But uh, uh, <laughs> good point about that. Uh, I think uh, I'm in the same position with construction. But as long you go for the quality, you go. Here we go. I said trade bait, no other reason. Uh, two, I think you're talking about uh, Farrell or you're talking about uh, Kaden Primo at uh, two. Thanks to be with us tonight. Uh, and thanks so much for all the likes we get. That just did not come there probably initially. Uh, here you go. No use was GM and New York and Rangers. No. Uh, no, Pierre Martin. Uh, Jeff Gordon, he was the GM. 
uh, in New York. Uh, Pierre Martin and Ken Hughes was an Asian hockey player uh, before he got a job with Montreal. I think Primo might be get one other game. At least they need uh, to call up. Uh, but the problem Marco, with that is like the call up players, right? They have now only one more time. They call up yesterday, Kevin Primo. So you have one more of the four. So the next time they call one, they cannot call anybody else. And I'm coming with a big uh, Sit with me, guys, for about 10 more minutes. I'm coming with a big subject after that. And um, don't go nowhere. You'll be surprised. I want to hear your comments about this because this is my uh, everyday, guys. I make on the on the YouTube channel. You can click on the on my vote. I make a poll every day uh, about different question. Two days ago, it was about Pierre Luc Dubois. I got a lot of comments. Yesterday, it was about Martin Saint Louis. Uh, this morning, uh, tonight is about something else. But stay tuned with me. I will tell you one. And after showing Primo. Uh, to the flowers for the Carter Hart trait, uh, Gary Cornoyer. Uh, keep on in the abs, uh, fans. Uh, still 2 2 for the Rick. Uh, um, I have to warn me, I don't know if you talk. Uh, Allen is burned uh, eight last in the row. Enough is enough. Uh, uh, Allen, I think, is now 1 6 and 1 in the last eight game, Paul. Um, he played, uh, he won the last game uh, uh, for the Montreal Canadian. Yeah, only seven games left, and no way about call up at this stage. Uh, in our top, uh, about this. Uh, thanks, Pierre. I feel like you have the same year as Jim, somewhere else. I think I asked Primo if he wanted to play an actual game. It was a great work in Laval. Uh, rewards, uh, one one, sorry. Uh, you know, you can, uh, then maybe you try to control the, the tank. Uh, Martin wants to win every game after the jump is used, not Martin. You don't take off for Martin. You have to write about that, like the way you talk about, like you don't have to take any decision. But I don't think so that way. Uh, about the, is, I think it's just a miscommunication. Uh, Martin Sinoui does not like the fact you have to put Farrell after the players. Martin Sinoui, guys, no? it's easy. You win a game and shoot out. You put Pesada, the party, the enthusiast, the push to save. When you want to play next game, you want to play with the same players. They just give us a W. Every one of them deserve it. Right? That's what I feel. That way. And at the end of the day, if Kirby Duck cannot play, now you can insert Sean Farrell at the last minute. At the end of the day, he will play again. It's just the way they did that. Um, uh, about that, uh, uh, one thing very important, ad management, a coach must work as you need. Uh, it's happened all the time, Butch, right? Uh, you're going to have some kind of friction or some kind of disagreement during the year. Again, uh, it's not like it's a, for them, guys, it's not like the way we talk right now here. For them, it's already forgot and they move on. I think it's a learning curve. Everybody have to learn. And that's what the way about that. Uh, did you see the coach from coach uh, who played again and strong on first round? He was very impressed. Yes, uh, Marco. Um, the front under again, them he really have an amazing, great uh, series uh, again. By with this weekend, he played again very well. Uh, I believe me, I'm strong can become another Andre Kimmeler in initial, uh, Marco. Uh, that'll give us uh, another time. I don't know Nicholas can watching him or Yamo, but he's doing very well. Uh, uh they left the fish at home. Uh, uh, good year, Miss. Uh, you go. Why all the conspiracy theory? I think uh, Martin is a pay to win. Uh, just remember, player, look up at the coach, not to the gym and run. Uh, let's continue. Uh, coach, relax. Jeez. <laughs> and then, who, we should keep Mayu. Uh, we put uh, feet on the ground. Um, it'll be interesting what Mayu is going to do, guys, uh, this summer. Uh, Mayu, you know, remember last year, guys, we talked about Jekai or... Cooley or everything, Iris, something like that. And we never thought they're going to make the team, and they did it. Look at me, you guys could become that that kind of players. Look at me, you can pop up next year during the summer and rock and roll over there and become part of the Montreal Canadian lineup next year. Who knows? But I just want to show me it's possible about me. Uh, I respond with action done with this team today. With to be early, uh, it's friend, uh, it would be uh, done if they have what actually in the controller by the bottom of the lake. Uh, play with uh, and fighting for the playoff spot. Uh, but 
differently about this and our tap. You right, you let your NC play with your team when you're out of the playoff for sure. And I can understand that, uh, your point of view uh, for that. Uh, um, Backcock uh, bench uh, Montano for his uh, 1,000 game and Spencer for his first game as a leave. It got so much uh, backlash uh, that's when uh, things will change. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about this. Uh, that's a great story. Is one of them did it uh, for sure, Marco. Uh, for that, uh, as a part of the business, coach days and three prospects have so much leverage and negotiation. Uh, Marco? Yeah, but, jeez, I'm not agree with that. But I can understand that. Because uh, uh, it will take time. And Frederick, we are not fighting for a plus spot. The gym, uh, the boss made addition. I see the way I work with it is the real world. All right, again, guys, nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing again can use there is the boss, right? Is the boss telling me to do that? Um Um, yeah, I don't, uh, uh, yeah, uh, maybe use a shopping primo for a trade, uh, Jonah. But he, he had to, some point, he had to figure out this because primo, uh, next year, guys, he's going to lose him, uh, for nothing. But I was not pleased with this one for the follow up. But you're absolutely about this, uh, A2 after the follow up about that. Uh, Black Dragon is in the house. Uh, uh, that's why a lot of coaches don't last and then shell they cannot let go a bit that uh, we win 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 can get someone at uh, some point about that good evening roger thanks so much again for your super chat i can pick it up everything guy i'm behind right now uh this is not primary school is the nhl this guy no hockey protocol as a play paid the big money to play out the dream of a lifetime yeah i'm sorry about this uh, uh there you go roger Frederick, uh, we scored eight goals. I don't think we have not have the team with all the prospects and have a beautiful set. It's okay. Thanks so much for all the like. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like if you don't mind. Uh, still can read a message. Triple pipe pass. Already hear that. Uh, Roger, hopefully, doing well. It's better to piss at uh, the piss on. <laughs> Ellen Keeve. Guys, Ellen Keeve, guys, she's straight. Uh, if you follow her, she don't play around. Uh, it's her, it's black and white. Yeah, no gray zone with her. So that's what we like, Ellen, here. Play as a guy to protect uh, the build con uh, confusion. It's okay. I think some of us have chat. WST is out. Much I do about nothing. Um, I'm just Ellen hype. Uh, Marco, by reacting that way in the press, he probably won point with his locker room. Uh, but as someone who has worked in the senior management, I would not be happy if someone did not know. I'm going to combine line. Yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, Marco. Unfortunately, hockey has now been uh, that way, like uh, for coaches, learning process, everything like that. Uh, but again, it's a learning for him. Uh, Nicholas, I think too, but if the reason Orton gave us the reason, we got a problem. Uh, scratching at the door like a cat. Uh, coach, uh, they are optional. Uh, skate, uh, there was about six players there. Farrell was going to go because he's rookie, but Mercer did not want him to. Uh, yeah, so they have, oh, every time you have uh, an optional player, right? And most of the time, the player does not play uh, the game before, everything like that. Uh, I think for what Martin said, we said about Farrell, they want him to show videos and uh, about that. I think there was, he said during the press conference, you want to see him again uh, after the press conference. Uh, but again, uh, usually you're not going to see many players there the morning. But after a W, sometimes you wake up, you want to get there. Uh, for for different players like the four line, the third pairing, the LT scratcher. So you have always done kinds of situation, but it's not all the coaches going to get there in the morning. Uh, okay, now I mean uh, time again. Use and pose a player in the lineup this year. It will see my attention more tomorrow at the practice. Uh, um, that's a great point, Gary. I'm telling you that it would be possible. Happen by the way, Panthers guy on the power play uh, right now. They're attacking Toronto very a lot uh, about this. Uh, uh, I know, uh, no problem with Saint Louis. He's already pro mark everybody thought. Uh, well, they nearly won the game anyway. Uh, well, the app nearly won the game anyway. Uh, they're getting question. I call separate with RK. Uh, also, Gaddy stick the RK and not the other down sheet. He only does. Uh, good evening, Nicola de Gobi Bono. Takes about to be with that. Exactly. The management took a love friend to make at the Russell Wicker last night. 
Uh, it's not been uh, dishonest. It just said Arkansas' uh, decision does not need to say he's agreed with it. Uh, but I don't want to go to Montreal because of the roster. Frederick, I don't like the special treatment for a small kid straight out of college. That's my feeling about that, obviously. Again, I don't know exactly what was the conversation about that one over there. Uh, it's just part of the business. The prospect I have the part of the negotiation about that. Um, we talk about Martin saying we guys uh, could say return like that. But do you think Ken Hughes could think about Martin St. Louis said, you know, Sean or, or the family, Farrell, look, we build a culture here. For us, uh, the team is more important things. We can promise you that maybe after I talk with Martin St. Louis, we're going to let you know before when you're going to play and uh, when, you, when you're going to play and that let your family to come at the game. That would be my best answer for Ken Hughes. If Ken Hughes was thinking about the culture too, I think that would be something he should say to the team. Look, maybe not in Philadelphia, I don't know when, but we're not going to tell you the morning and then pop up. We're going to let you know at least uh, 24 hours or 48 hours, and then your family can come to Montreal or whatever we play. I don't know. You know, I know Farrell is from USA, but still, everybody can go to Montreal, no? Uh, but it's happened about this. Uh, uh, it's a call to the Messi. Uh, we know all looking for honestly what all you know. They have been advised for getting it. Where was the urgency? Honest there. Uh, okay, I can find one. Sorry, but Farrell. Does Farrell have too big a go already? I don't think so. We go that way about that. He's a young, very smart hockey man, guys. He's a very really good man. Uh, I don't want to go that direction. Uh, how many like we have so far? Thanks so much. Uh, 38. And Marco, no, you sound like a good kid. Negotiation contract, right? A player has done not make him a diva. Well said uh, about that. Uh, uh, and then I heard today on the TSN, <laughs> and then she's everywhere. Uh, this woman is unbelievable. It was a lava schedule that Poulain was in the net last night, so it was a good time to give a, a prep game. You're absolutely right about this. It was already on the setup uh, on this one. Uh, what is saved by Samson? I've got a uh, two versus one and uh, make the big save about that. Uh, we said one, one at the end of the third prayer, guys. I'm going to go move on to the overtime in uh, Washington, guys, uh, to see the game. We are overtime in uh, the Washington again, the New York Canada. So, Islanders got a one point uh, for that. Uh, uh, oh my God, I'm behind. I'm 43 seconds behind. Um, no points going to the nation that they play game burn first year at LSC. Uh, Primo uh, looked pretty good on 11. Not too bad game for him. Uh, the Primo was okay. Flair only at 4 or 5 quite discouraged chance. But uh, the point that uh, Marco we said about WST, uh, what I agree with him is me, he make a big save at the right time, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I think he did very well on that. Uh, like he saved the Mont let the Montreal Allen is the tank commander. <laughs> then, uh, I bought me a cap something. I have a character. No problem, Pierre. Don't worry about that. Uh, um, you say answer the reporter question in a tap. Yep. Yep. So right about this. Uh, by the boat team, they could not make a play for Elite. I'm saying that's the cause. I'm for your grandfather. Uh, schedule. Thanks so much. RG for the schedule. I tried to pick it up. Everything like this. We're going to have another big subject, guys. Don't trade Mayu. He is my third prospect. And then Keith said, uh, like Mayu a lot, but he's very loose on his own zone. 25 goals so far this year. They are over the hill, everything like that. Hughes uh, was always Gordon. A man tried to get Hughes while he's in New York. If they got him for the ab. <clears throat> but Martin Zouet was a huge combo by Hughes. No far. He split off. All party happy in my eyes. Well said, William. Roger is in the house. Welcome back in the house. Thank you be with our connection. If I was... Uh, Ruggle v. Sigelfan and the front left versus Vincent. Yes, I saw the game and Anson was really impressive. Nicholas, glad to share it with that. Uh, I would be shocked if the ad trick made you. They put so much work into working him. I agree with you about that. Uh, great point, uh, Marco, uh, about him. Uh, Ragsper was good too for any Detroit fans. Uh, Marco Casper is doing well. Uh, did not start very well at the beginning, but now better. Uh, actually, cannot see Farrell making the initial, in my opinion. Uh, he was pushing his sign, not good. Uh, I don't worry about this, Butch, uh, about that. Again, don't thinking Farrell is a tidy player like that. Farrell is going to show to you guys he's a solid hockey player. 
Sean Ferrer is going to be a great hockey player for Montreal Canadiens. Um, only trade prospect under six foot. I think to you, uh, WST, don't trade them. Just don't draft them. That would be the best way. Q, if a GM uh, called use and he wants to see something prospect playing the NHL for potential trade, does use need to have permission about that? Uh, I don't think so. You know what I mean? Like, He can put anybody and any, any player on the ice. I think the only thing could re look is maybe one team want to have um, he wants some specific players. Uh, don't explain what is to be done. Uh, no, one thing is other things like the other and then rock and then great here. Absolutely, she is. Uh, we go, Danny. Uh, Marco, we don't know what uh, was behind the closed door or speaking, Gary. And then it's great, Michelle. Question uh, How is the treatment of a PLC by Sutter any better? Could a final for season Sutter totally resist proceed to nothing? Um, yes, but after that, and after that, he let he let play PLC many, many, many to why. Uh, again, Sutter the next day was over. That's it, that's all. Um, you know. Uh, I don't think so, Petsy, have it. any kind of manage, you know, difficult things about that. But again, um, that's so good, Mr. Uh, as you, they couldn't marry to each other. Uh, Gary Moore reporting came out uh, today. Uh, like uh, Ellen said, Gordon spoke about it. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about this. Uh, uh, Todd Lonette, that when he has little drama, the media look for anything to create is this ad long biggest problem, which I don't believe that even a problem. Marion know his job. Well said, Todd. First of all, Todd, welcome. I think it's the first time here. It's the first time uh, welcome in the family, the Hockey Nation show. If not, welcome back. Uh, but I like you. Um, great comments about this. Uh, well said, uh, for sure. Uh, to say, my cousin, you're the gym. Uh, Bryce is in the house. Welcome aboard. Thanks for being with our Kenny Show. Uh, I have a two-drink job at the end. Where I started from a night live. Uh, there we go. Uh, one, one over there. I tried to pick it up some question here. My boss making decisions several times. Hey, what do you up? Uh, thanks, Matt. Much better. Here we go. Uh, do I know him again? Maybe, uh, the first agent, uh, uh negotiate with you is one he signed his contract. That's what Blake and Philly and Marty should know that. Uh, Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then maybe that's happening. And then maybe no communication between uh, Hughes and St. Louis possible there. I wonder what trade uh, will uh, make at uh, the draft. Uh, hopefully, another Dak side player, young, big, and as uh, um, possible. WSD, I think, have some kind of asset. And then and Edmondson, Anderson, they will rack all three of them. I believe Montreal can make something. And then after that, it could be a prospect. They have, ex they believe they don't get the maybe better. The game last night was so boring. So many uh, whistles. And then you nail it. Uh, I call this one the worst of the last three years. I do clean my game. Uh, Farrell was the last uh, over the park all night. At least over the park. No cheating. Have a great shift with Evan. The Gallagher did not like him at 27. Yeah, no chemistry between the one and Kieran, uh, Kieran Huff, guys. Uh, and the fact, like I was said to you, um, the, number, uh, the number was very low underlining number, by the way. Uh, for that one over there, we have a couple of cents. Two bitters is in the house. Welcome back in the house. Uh, try to keep it up here. Here we go, guys. My next subject, guys, uh, we're going to move on. We we'll talk about for one hour about Martin Saint Louis. Uh, it's just one, guys. Uh, I would like to hear from you because this is my question. I have, uh, I don't know if I have this set up. Uh, not uh, real. Um, I would change it, guys. I'm going to make you another question here. Should the app return RHP to Laval? Uh, this is the question I have for you guys. I would like to hear from you. Uh, uh, Washington guys are all over the New York. And the Florida Panthers tied the game at the end of the first period. At the end of the period, guys, it's 2 2. And uh, very interesting about that. Uh, I don't know why I cannot do this. Uh. Ovenskin's coming. Uh. The Flair Panthers view still 1 1 at overtime for the 
uh, for that. Uh, what do you think about this? Should the app return RHP to Laval? What do you talk about this? But the Montreal Canadian guys, they are going to be more um, full roster the next this weekend. All right. So the next two, three game guys, the Montreal are going to be full roster. Now they have to send people on, on Laval. They have two players, RHP and JC Alunen. So what do you do with that? What we do? Do you send Laval to help in the Laval to make the playoff? It gave a great experience to Pinar to performing and to play that level of the hockey. Or do you leave Pinar, Avi Pinar with a Montreal Canadian for the rest of the season and you forget the, the playoff at Laval and you don't want to give this kind of experience for the rest of the team, for this organization, everything like that. So my question is about this. Do you think they should return or not? RHP to give him some kind of experience playoff. If you tell that Maxim Lapierre talked on the TV yesterday, it was a great thing for him when they return him and the American Hockey League to play the playoff. Uh, they have other, um, someone else mentioned the same way about that. I cannot remember who he was. But again, um, for the fans, maybe not. For the hockey people, maybe it makes sense. But I would like to hear from you. What do you think about that? Uh, Uh, Ellen said, send him down. Do you have the game so far? No, Nicolas, you Montreal joue pas ce soir. No, Emile doesn't look like his part in Laval. Uh, send IHP to Laval, so the second one said that. Wow. That Washington guy all over the Islanders. Uh, we had 28 seconds to go to Menin. And uh, that's what we got. Uh, RV keeper, low there for professionally. Great additional for cheap. You can trade leather keeper. I think Pinar is insured now, so they won't need to decide uh, for Marco de Rabi. Uh, and well, I actually should never play another American Hockey League. Uh, 56 goes down to Laval. Um, for Ireland, is one of them. Yep. Yeah. Lay for sale in a tap. Uh, Laval development is the number one priority. We'll see. Uh, so they uh, make the uh, run. Uh, once again, uh, conquer, send 27 to Laval, WST. Well, you cannot send a player like that. That's the problem, WST, uh, for that, uh, for the, for that situation. Uh, good. Thank you. Uh, Rudolf said that, uh, and LHP deserves to stay in the NHL and earn his NHL salary, LH. Uh, great, great, great conversation about that one. Uh, uh for that uh, i would uh, suggest guys don't talking about politics in the chat uh for the for the benefit of everything if you don't mind um and by the way Rudolph is dominate the playoff uh, fantasy okay so uh that's what happening with him guys uh, about the ihp was well, just a question i will ask you this uh, if you want to talk about this uh, we have a couple more minutes to talk about uh, a little bit more news for you guys don't go nowhere um Now, do you believe, guys, that RHP is real or not? Do you believe he is real or not? Do you feel like now he crossed the time where he is now on the the overtime is over, guys? And uh, Adam Durst, we're going to move back to Toronto, we believe, to see the overtime over there. Um, uh, the prime, Marco, if you call him back up, uh, now you have to give a The another call up number about that now again back to your question marco do you focus on the laval rocket playoff or you focus on animal only uh animal score the last uh, you know four go uh, four goal uh, and the last four game over there uh what i view the engine as a demotion not allowed uh william uh not allowed about that they would be really uh, uh, really um explain to them everything like that uh, can you bring up an event yes you can or you're going to burn a call up uh for that uh wst and on my we have nobody else he can call up after that uh, uh real ella player for redolve i don't think uh he's a gamer also is a play properly Uh, Ken Hughes would be afraid to do anything with RHP. Uh, Gary said, RHP is the real. Um, uh, no question, uh, Bojbushar. 
Applaud did exactly what um, uh, uh, Harvey Pinal did, guys, is David Deharnay. David Deharnay played with Montreal Canadiens, have an amazing, great career in the QM. Both of them played for Shikutsumi Saikne. Um, uh, it was coached by Guy Boucher, by the way. And they have the same path. When you want to see a player, guys, uh, is can RHP can do this for 82 games? That's what you, you try to find out for the players. Can any players uh, play an NHL? Because the first 15 game, 20 game, guys, uh, when you play NHL, you go with adrenaline, right? You get that kind of the, the pushing of your back and you feel like this is going to be great and there's excitement and everything. But then you get the 40 game, the 60 game, and the age of the game. Now it's about 31 game, if I can recall it. And he's doing well, 13 goal, and he dominate on many uh, areas like the block shot, and you can see he's getting there. Really impressive way accomplished. The key for we do uh, for you guys is that: Do you believe he can do this for 82 games? And again, the capital score, the first shootout. Uh, the Panthers win an overtime, guys. Oh, my God. The Panthers beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in overtime. The game is over. The Panthers get two points at the last minute. They're now back in the race behind the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is a huge W. They're going to carry on this again. The Montreal Canadiens tonight, uh, tomorrow night, uh, with Bobos keep between the pipes. Uh, this is a game of the year for the Panthers to beat again. Another Toronto Maple Leaf flat like never been again. The Toronto Maple Leaf, that's what you got. That's what they just show again tonight, who they are. That's simple. They cannot kill the team, take the lead to one. They cannot give the, the third goal. And that's go again. They've been this way since we know who they are. And again, they prove it tonight. They lost in overtime. And they only, that mindset of average, this is what I call this in, in, in the hockey. Wow, the, the Islanders guys score, Pan Murray. If the Zorro can make a save, the Islanders could win this game again. This will be a huge, double, big, huge game for the Islanders. to get the next save by Zorro Ken, guys. Uh, Pan Murray score over the glove. We are one shot of this one, guys. We're going to take a time. Nicholas Backstrom is coming now. He takes the puck at the middle. He's coming to the other side. Zorokin looking now at the top circle in the middle. Looking at the other side. Shoot the puck. And Zorokin make a big save. The game is over. The Islanders win the W tonight. And the Islanders take another two points. They put the Capitals almost out of the playoff. And the Islanders now advance with seven points. But the biggest news of the night is the Panthers score at 50 seconds and they score in the overtime. Brendan Montour score. And this, guys, the story of the Toronto Maple Leaf. You know, you have, guys, if you are 70D, uh, you know, the pass of the school, right? If you have an exam, 61, you pass. 70D, you're okay. 80, you're better. 90, you're great. And 100, you're amazing. But this is the mentality of the Toronto Maple Leaf. Average, this enough for them. Average, this is what they are. They don't want more. That's okay. We can win, we can lose, but it's, I don't think it's okay. But we have a mentality of greatness, a mentality of all in. The mentality you cannot lose. The mentality you have to make a, a, an effort every single game. Play this game like the playoff game. But they don't have that core in their head. That's who they are. They don't have those kinds of game. It's okay to lose. It's okay. It's not big deal. They're going to talk about after the game. Said, you know, what well, we are in the playoff anyway. It's not big deal. You cannot turn the switch on when the game number one started the playoff. You have to do this for 82 games. Play at that kind of mentality. The best of the best, the Kobe Brand, the LeBron James, the Tiger Woods, the, the Wayne Gretzky, the Mario Lemieux, and I can mention more name. They play with that kind of competition in their head. Their mindset is about greatness. They want to become better every single day. And that's the problem you get again with Toronto tonight. Another bad performance. But it's okay. They got one point. 
That's that's who they are. That's okay. We're on the playoff. Then we ask why. But it starts with the core, the culture, the core. They need to have enough. When you you know you lose a game like that tonight, let's get into tomorrow morning, 60 minutes. Pay the price. When you're going to play hard every single shift, every game, every A game, but now we're going to make you better. Until then, guys, you're going to skate every freaking morning, the morning. Until you're going to play here with heart, go with work it's sick. But that's what they are. Then, then after that, the fans don't understand why they lose the first round. Because they have no culture inside that organization. They don't care. They don't care. That's what they show up right now again. That's the Toronto Maple Leaf, the sixth year. And we are there. Would you go? Maybe they're going to make it the first round. Yes. But they have no, no, no chance to win the Stanley Cup. No chance to win the Stanley Cup. Because you start with the heart. It start with the, the team together, the, the power of one team together. They don't have it. What? Sorry about that. They don't have it. They show it every freaking game. They only play when they want to play, the 20 minute, the seven minute, the one period. But they, want, they don't want to pay the price. They don't want to pay the price. But when you go to uh, the, the playoff, you have to pay the price. You cannot turn the switch on tomorrow morning when the playoffs start. Sorry. The playoffs start October 12th. And every freaking day, you need to get better. The bus is going to be all the way to the end. Right? But I don't know when the bus will be stopped at some point. Because maybe I'm going to be get eliminated. But I can tell you one thing. During that time, I'm going to run that team at the level of greatness here. And that's what they have to show up every single day. That's also late. They don't do. They don't go that way. Sorry, out the subject right now. Uh, RHP is a bottom six. Uh, LH shooting percentage is not sustainable, uh, but an NHL player for LH. Lee will beat Tampa Bay. Uh, McRae return and Lynn Curry is confident. Laval. Mark, thanks so much for this uh, statement. Welcome aboard. By the way, uh, RHP and NHL player Marco Larabi. Question, coach. Uh, have you ever straight? Not yet. Uh, uh, if it's as good as a uh, look, uh, but not an egg to look awesome. Uh, um, but not an egg to look good. Yeah, I don't know if which one you're talking about. Uh, but um, good evening. Uh, Kenneth, uh, Kenneth for Thailand is in the house. Welcome aboard. Uh, Kenneth, guys, live in Thailand with me. Uh, far away, a little bit far, but uh, where you live right there. Uh, then RSP is Alex Burroughs, Marco Larabi. Uh, good evening, uh, Kenneth, uh, here from Detroit, Melissa. And uh, play that win, uh, William McClary, um, 3 to 2. Uh, will Caulfield play a full year? Uh, WC, we'll see next season when he's going to be ready. RSP is a third liner, a best uh, today, is a great uh, companion. Uh, Mark, uh, William McClary, an OT. Michelle, get all uh, the software pass. Uh, if uh, Sean Avery can make it, so can anybody else uh, run with game. Is a fit for Real, uh, for Claude Richard. Uh, man, uh, Panther, I uh, like the Keith Richard of the playoff race. Uh, about that, uh, Vinny, wow. 2-1, um, uh, White Islanders. Uh, 3% of the ad lineup can last finish uh, without getting injured. Uh, back at uh, there we go. Uh, it's only small, a simple side for RHB, in my opinion. Uh, thank you, Ellen, to say that. Uh, um, I try to pick it up here. Uh, people are live are no heart. Uh, go live. <laughs> and, uh, I still like top. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to win tomorrow night. Uh, Ellen, again, for the Panthers. Coach, uh, thought on the notice that on uh, losing is last night, getting those uh, I love it. Uh, okay, that's uh, Yeah, it was entertaining, first of all. Secondly, I would believe, I would say to you, uh, I like the fact, like, uh, you know, he he want to prove his point. Uh, that's something like that. Okay, that's the player like it. Sometimes that happens a lot. But, uh, uh, you know, it's so much scree scale about this uh, goal or no goal. That, uh, it's like a saying that's just not go away. Uh, this is a really bad game for the Montreal Canadiens guy just maybe lose two, three uh Maybe five right there because of that Toronto Maple Leaf. 
Uh, wow. Can I believe it? Uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. Uh, Sorokin is one of the best goalie in the league this year. You're absolutely right. Uh, uh, Goja, you're the leave fan, not me. You're the leave fan. I, I'm not a, a fan, so the, uh, you are offending Danny, Goja. <laughs> Uh, the TML player wanted to do it uh, by himself, by the puck, and to a good break at King uh, Orders is getting the cup. Uh, and then the Brunetta is in both team uh, Orders and the King, and then uh, they are on mission right now. They're looking good. Joel, uh, welcome back, Joel. Uh, is my second return from Thailand. Who will survive a nuclear uh, bomb? Uh, here we go. Leave all in the trouble, Mark. Uh, about that, a Yaga for Joe. We fell back at one hours as cold with 69. Great, everyone. Uh, Butch, uh, Marcel Dion, uh, and Rebinoff is in the house. Welcome back. Uh, yes, Danny, guess best like a for the game, peace, but. And uh, we are doing some cover up uh, Gary, I picked the leaf tonight, Gary. Congratulations about that one over there. Uh, I agree, or to a degree, uh, killing sense, killing my son, but. Uh, uh, you are welcome uh, in a tap at their school. I would have called a success, a great success. Just said, uh, do you think coach is really a leave coach? Uh, coach is pissed. Coach, he picked the leave. <laughs> this channel <laughs> How about that one over there. Uh, coach, talk about you have they cannot make the playoff. Uh, you're absolutely about this, Danny. They cannot make the playoff, uh, but. Good luck, Lord Coach. As on luck, at love the speech uh, and uh, leave. Think they can win with the talent. The I will with that before the leave. Uh, no doubt, French is a coach, uh, Joe. Uh, leave the leave alone. RJ for the three likes uh, and I get together. If you don't, don't worry. All right, sir. Have a good time, Marco. We're getting there very soon. Uh, and then you can watch the playoff with me, Danny, if you like. Uh, here we go. Uh, what kind of leave uh, talking about in a tap? Uh, the Islanders go get there. Uh, Rick Bengal in a tap. You should like the leave. I hate them, but uh, my Rick is back in the house. Rick he believed they're going to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, about that one over there. Uh, real, 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 guys, I'm going to finish with a couple of news before we go. Uh, the news guy, Enemans, scored four goals in the last four games with the Laval Rocket. Uh, and the Minnesota Wild take the lead 1-0. Uh, again, the Colorado Avalanche uh, and Zuccarello score, I believe. And that's one again. Now it's Juanson, Marcus Juanson, guys. Uh, you know, Minnesota Wild guys, they pick up a couple of players during the trade deadline, but uh, they are really uh, take uh, uh, the play, solid play with their goal. Just, just give the goal, by the way. Uh, go just give the pass to the Minnesota players uh, behind the net. Uh, very bad play in front of the net. McKinnon did not cover his men in front of the net. A very bad defensive zone coverage by the minute by the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, question on the serious note: uh, many team who should be showing up at the end or not where ending to the season. Well said, Luciano. Uh, it, it's really strange to see that. Uh, uh, for that, uh, must like an amen. Uh, must like you're ready to go on. And I hope you put power. Don't want to hear you live. There you go. So uh, that's a bit about this. Uh, that was the subject of NMN, guys. The second subject I want to talk about is Conor Timmons' late picks. Uh, the late picks, guys, of the Timmons guy was maybe benefit for the Montreal Canadian. If you think about that, talk about Mayu, Roy, Farrell. Um, talk about. Uh, Ridley, Kidney, uh, Trudeau. Uh, they, they've selected a lot of good players, uh, and they set a couple of seven-round picks. Uh, Kaden Primo last night, Jake Evans, and RHP. Montreal Canadiens select them at 14, 17, and 19. This was the second time in the history in NHL you had three players select seven rounds and play in NHL one game, all three together. And that's happening last night with the Montreal Canadiens. I know, I know said Timmy was great, but I just said to you, Timmy left us when he left the building with some great picks at the end. He did not do well between 2007 to 2016 between Soben, Pacioretty, and uh, McDonough until they got Sergachev. You can maybe talk to me about Kat Chinak and 12 with the third overall pick, but otherwise, 
he did not very well overall. But again, we're getting some fruit of his pick right now for the one month work. And Caden Cooley is another one. Jordan Harris is another one. And uh, we'll see what's happening. But, um, you know, we have to recognize what he did uh, for that. But I want to mention more your seven round pick, uh, Evan Primo. And uh, for that, uh, 45 likes. Thanks so much. Uh, um, I got a nickname for the name. I come here, come to any rug. And then, uh, f finally, the Burning Category guy scored a third straight game uh, with a goal. Um, you love Gallagher, but you don't like the contract, right? Uh, what can is there? Now, be a bit careful about that because this is the end of the year. He didn't play all year long. So, he's really in good shape right now, <laughs> right, compared to any other players. And would be interesting what he's going to do. But... Uh, I feel some kind of great chemistry between him and Jake Evans. Better uh, Gallagher versus David Rack. The number underlying data, analytic and initial, are really good Gallagher with Jake Evans. So he did a really good line with AC, uh, Jesse Allen. And I think for me, that would be something um, Gallagher can produce more and prepare for next season. We want to leave the, at the end of the year. Maybe Gallagher could be happy about what he did for the last seven games. Maybe score two more goals and looking better for next season. Because he'd be a part of that uh, the standing. Uh, the Jacques Lamar effect and many. Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, what are going to do with uh, those wins of the Panthers? All doing uh, bad for Montreal. You're absolutely right, Jeremy. And not looking good. About that, uh, j'aimerais ça rester plus, mais je vais me clip. Pas de problème, mon Nicolas. On se reparle plus tard, mon homme. On se voit demain soir. Good night, Nicolas. Thanks to stop by. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about, guys, uh, is um, Kurianov. Do you really believe Kurianov, guys, is going to stay with the Montreal Canadiens or not? Uh, um, Uh, that will be another subject we can talk a little bit before we go. Um, do you think, um, Kurenov guy, this is the end with the Montreal Canadian? Do you feel like he can return with Montreal Canadian? Because we don't have no spot. If you keep RHP, guys, you have no spot for Kurenov. Uh, he's a right winger, and we have already um, Caulfield, Gallagher, Anderson, Armia, in front of him. So Curry enough is maybe number five. On the on the left side, you have Hoffman, Sakoski, Pesetta. I, I missed one or two now. I know. Like maybe um you know you have to figure out with Jake Evan, honestly. Uh, on that side, if you go winger or not. Uh yeah, I missed one more. I cannot remember who he was that this one over there. Oh, uh, you know, Bezil and Be uh, Bezil are going to fight for the one spot at the bottom. Oh, RHP. Here we go. RHP. So, Kirinov, guys, is really limited. It's not talking about Jesse Allenon. What do you do with Allenon? What do you do with Enneman? What happened with Owen Beck, Sean Farrell? So, the, for me, I really believe this is the end of Kirinov. I think Montreal is going to let him go. Are uh, you agree with me or not? Um... Oops, sorry about that. I will try to get this one. Uh, we'll see what we got here. Gary will be an every kind of player. Gary Grant, Gary, not going to stay in my opinion, but I don't know. Jeremy N. Um, Gary Nap is a big to me. Gary is a swift. I think uh, it will be around for next season, and that's it. Uh, I should play better Gary Nap. Uh, um, Yes, Mr. So I was wearing one. Uh, Gallagher is a green girl. Management is energy. Well, give them an opening. It would be there. One zero again. Minnesota on poor play, by the way. Uh, they should uh, qualify him and see at the training camp. But here's the point, uh, Gary. If you qualify him, uh, it's about $3.2 million minimum. And 
if you don't keep him, you have to send him a Laval and you're stuck with the monetary cap. So this is a, the biggest problem for that one for him. Uh, big question to me. Uh, I just want to go leave my face red. Uh, would you move Anderson and Amir to make a room for Gary Nafa? Yes, Um I would send you a question, Luciano, uh, this way. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention Amir, by the way. Uh, I would say to you, Luciano, uh, I will move Anderson and Amir to move a room for someone. Not necessarily Curie enough. Uh, in my opinion, because Curie enough equal Amir at the end of the day. In my opinion. And, um, but I will move Anderson and Amir to open spot for RHP, uh, Farrell, or... Um, Another rookie or um, NMN, and it could be all the kind. But there's a great question. I just want to change in that one over there. Um, well, that one, um, yeah, maybe long term, never reserve it. Uh, possible. Leave like if you like, you sent it. Um, well done for it. I'm bad quality at this hour. No problem. Uh, Jeremy is all good, uh, by the way. Um, it's all right here, guys. Uh, about that, uh, so be honestly, what uh, uh, Kurina is going to do uh, with a Montreal Canadian next season? Uh, let's see. If we have other subjects. We can uh, bring uh, more before we go. How about this? Uh, we talked about this before, so that's pretty much what we get here. Uh, if you follow the NC uh, uh, bracket, uh, guys, and uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend, the Boston University uh, with uh, L Lane Hudson play, the, the junior uh, playoff start uh, and uh, QM, you can follow many of Montreal Canadian like uh, Reddy Kidney and, of course, uh, uh, Joshua Roy, already a two players you can follow. Uh, UHL is going to start very soon. You get uh, my, uh, Logan Mayu. You can follow. Uh, you can get Owen Beck, uh, Mazar. Not Mazar, don't actually make it. And then uh, at the WHL, they have a few people over there, too. Uh, I don't think I cannot be here next season. Uh, Marty is not impressed by him. Great point about that. Uh, uh, for sure, do you believe that I've already have that also uh, set for next season? We said too early. Too early, Luciano. Uh, there are too many players going to be at the, tra at the draft. And first of all, uh, then you have a fun player going to be, uh, you know, try try at the training camp. So I would say to you a little bit too early for that one over there. Uh, something happening about this. Uh, welcome. Uh, have a great night, Roger. Thanks so much. Like I said, uh, I like his shot, his size, speed, but his game is limited so far. I finish short, but don't make other better. And the uh, end, uh, well said about this one over there, uh, Nicholas. Uh, I think you nail it when you talk about Curie enough. Uh, uh, there is the same situation when he was with Dallas Star. He will appear for three, four games and then disappear for 15. A little bit like Joel Amir does um, with a Montreal Canadian. And that's what, you know, uh, happening about that. Uh, so uh, if anybody have anything to add, I think we're going to close the show tonight. Uh, I'm just waiting if you have more people to uh, conclude the show. Uh, look, it was great tonight talking about uh, Martin St. Louis. And uh, don't forget to join us uh, tomorrow night for the play-by-play -play Montreal Canadiens. Play again the Flair Panthers uh, tomorrow night. Again, uh, really interesting uh, turnover for tonight. The Panthers beat the Toronto Maple Leafs by a score 3-2 to two and give them another two points. And the standing now is getting closer. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, I'm sure I'm not very happy about that uh, because now the Flair Panthers are one point behind the Pittsburgh. And this is a turnover, guys. Uh, Unbelievable. And with that W tonight, guys, uh, that helping the Florida to keep 19 and descending. One point behind uh, Pittsburgh with one game in hand for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, and this is going to be interesting. Seven games to go. And eight games for Pittsburgh. Seven for the Florida Panthers. Play Florida. They play again the Montreal Canadiens tomorrow. So possible another W for the Florida Panthers tomorrow night. Uh, and that's what we got uh, on this side. Uh, and with that W, again, the Islanders guys are now 87 point, five point for the Pittsburgh, six point in front of the Islanders. And uh, that will conclude them, guys, uh, to honestly. Uh, Islanders are pretty much in the playoff spot, uh, and they're going to make it. Uh, 
And there's something to add. Mantra Panthers should be an interesting game tomorrow night, William. Tomorrow night, Thursday, eleven game on the schedule. Thanks so much to let us know that. I hate Tampa and Panthers. I think there's a calculation about that one over there. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. Thanks, guys, to join us tonight at the Hockey News Live Show. I can't wait to see you uh, tomorrow uh, again, 6 o'clock p.m. for the warm-up show. I'll be back again in my truck again. And uh, until then, of course, uh, we want to remind you one more thing, guys. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. You have greatness inside of you. Thanks so much to join up for another Ab Nation uh, live tonight show. Hopefully you enjoy it. We'll be back if possible Friday or Sunday for the another uh, show about the month. And until then, my friend, we want to wish you an amazing, great night, uh, a sweet dream. But be well, be well. Find a way not only to dominate your day, find a way to dominate the first half of what? 2023. Thanks so much, everybody, at the chat tonight. Uh, all the moderators, great job. And all the people, uh, you the ones support us. Uh, a breakaway by B1 right there. He scored the color of evidence. Uh, tie the game 1 1. A live goal by B1 Barrion out of the play, out of the Bennett box. Uh, and got the score at uh, the color of the game 1 1. Thanks so much, William, Danny, Stu, Pierre Martin, Gary, and many others in the chat. And RJ Calabro. Have an amazing, great night, everybody. Can wait to see you tomorrow for another Ab Nation live show. Tonight's show. We love you, people. Thank Pierre.